Now we're talking to Aries. How you doing, Aries? Let's get, let's get it going, baby. Let's get it on. Chilla. Let's get it on. Y'all ready? Okay, let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on with my lovely. Take it to the shot house. How are you doing up in the dub? How's life treating you? Let's see what's going on with my Aries. Let's see. How y'all doing? I'm going through it so everybody can get some readings here. So we're going to keep it pushing. So, Aries, what is the issue that you got that we need to talk about? What is the issue that you got, baby? What needs to be dressed? What's the issue that needs to be dressed? We got... What's the issue that needs to be dressed on the the 6th and the 7th? What's the issues that need to be dressed? 6th and the 7th. What needs to be addressed? What do you need to address on the, let's see, March 6th and 7th? What needs to be addressed, Aries? What is hidden that you don't see coming on those two days, the 6th and the 7th? What you don't see coming is... Lusting. Someone is lusting in forbidding territory. Mistake. You know, misunderstanding. Lost. Someone feels like a lost person because they need to take off their mask. Someone really needs to take off their mask. They make them do a lot of mistakes because they don't want nobody to see the real them of what they really are. Now, what's currently going on in this situation that's forbidden? What's currently going on, Aries? That's forbidden. What's currently going on with you at this time? Clouded judgment, illusions. There's a lot of illusions going to be going on the 6th and the 7th. So the hopes and fears of the situation. What is the hopes and fears? See, you, you hope and fear that uh, there's emotional twin flame and commitment. You're fearing that. You're fearing that... Um, that commitment don't work out like it's supposed to. So you fearing that. So give me something on this commitment. Someone wants to marry you. Or take a next step with you. Someone's going to do that. So what's the outcome in this situation. With them taking next step with you Aries. It is fantasy daydreaming. Someone is daydreaming about taking the next step with you. So somebody was fantasizing the whole time. So the outcome is hoping and expecting faith to manifest. You know, beginning trying new directions in your life. There's nothing wrong with trying something new. But somebody wants to get you pregnant. Infidelity, you know, they want to uh, unplanned pregnancy and all that. So if you don't want no pregnancy to show up, then... You know what to do. You got to strap it up. Let's strap it up and close it up. That's what they tell me. Strap it up and close it up. You know. But have an open heart and be receptive to stuff. And escaping and avoiding. Someone is avoiding stuff. Third parties, attachments. They're trying to avoid that obsession, you know, that they have with third parties. You know, they're trying to avoid that kind of situation. Now, what's going on in relationship? Now, let's see. Let's move this up here. Let's see. What's going on in your relationship that we need to talk about? What's going on in your relationship? What's going on with Aries and relationship? Archangel Michael, what's going on with Aries and their relationship? Okay. Aries... What's the situation? What's the problem in your relationship that needs to be addressed? Separation. Someone is sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you because you're going through a separation phase. What else is going on currently? You're mirroring each other. You know, you're self-reflecting. You mirror each other's experiences and you're mirroring each other. So what's the outcome of the situation, of this separation? What's the outcome of this situation? What is the outcome of this situation? What's going to be the outcome of the situation, Spirit? The outcome of this situation. The outcome of the situation is paradise, happiness, and joy, and playfulness, enjoying each other. Honeymoon phase. Some people going through the honeymoon phase. They're going to be enjoying each other and and honeymoon so 
What about this paradise? I thought, yeah, but there's going to be the death of new, the new relationships. The relationship is over. No second chances. Someone, somehow, it's just over. Someone said it's over because why is they say that the death of this relationship is just over? Because of healing their heart. They're healing their heartbreak. So they're healing themselves from addictions and toxicities. So this person decided to heal instead of going through the next phase because they realize they're not healed completely and they need to heal themselves before they go through to be in any relationship with anyone else or anything that's connected to that. So, okay, let's get some messages. What's the message for my Aries before we close? What's the message here for Aries? Okay. It says you have a lot of roaches. Watch out. Someone has a lot of roaches and they need to watch out karmic relationship with Aquarius in the past. Someone is an angel wisdom helping you. Someone is trying to help you with your wisdom to open up yourself. Someone 30 in the past might be 30 years of age. Dad said, saying in heaven, be strong every day. I'm looking over you. Don't cry no more. Dad loves you from heaven. It says, forever love. You're forever loved. Someone is trying to bind you with spell work though. They're trying. And they're taking pictures of you at, in your home secretly like someone think you're hot is all good outs but they're taking pictures of you secretly without your permission and that you're not getting to know about. So be careful somebody trying to take from old mess somebody from blood from old mexico new mexico they're doing blood rituals on you allegedly so be careful someone need to read the bible no more there might be a plane crash takes everyone out it takes out a lot of people from a plane crash that goes down and um, remove all bad energy around you it's time to Baby mama needs to tell the truth, just period. Somebody's baby mama needs to start telling the truth. Someone 77, I will never tell you the truth about everything that went going on. I am effing the police to put you in jail. They're trying to get rid of you before you go to court. Somebody at Castle Bank, they want to get rid of you before you go to court because you will be able to testify against these people and they do not want somebody to do that. So thank you. Allegedly entertainment purposes only. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Bye-bye.